Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. We're going to have roll call. Chair Kevin Rooney. Here. Vice Chair Mario Maciel. Here. Commissioner Edwin Borkas. Here. Commissioner Edith Flores. Present. Commissioner Christopher Sines. Present. All right. Now we have public communications. You have three minutes to speak. Please say your name and resident address. If you have anything to say, you could come up and say it now. No one? No one? <laughs> All right. Seeing as there's none, public communications is now closed. Um, next is the consent calendar, I believe. Do you give, you give the consent count? This is the minutes from the October 25th Planning Commission meeting. Okay. A motion to move forward with the consent calendar. Second. All those for? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Passes. Abstain. Oh. Abstain. Those abstained? I abstain. I abstain. All right. It moves forward three to zero. Next, we have um, the set matters for public hearing, correct? And I'm going to hand that to um, Gustavo Roma, our community development director. Good evening, under honorable chair and the members of the planning commission. We have a brief presentation for you today with regards to these, uh, this project proposed by uh, Baldwin Park Homes over on the Torch Street uh, at 12756 through 12770 uh, Torch Street. We have three applications before you, a tentative track map, a conditional use permit for an affordable housing unit, and a development plan as well. This uh, would subdivide three parcels of land into 24 townhome units. Uh, the property is located right here uh, between the 605 and the 10 freeway on Torch Street. Uh, there's a lot of development that seems to be going on in this area. Uh, there's a new residential care facility on the north side of Torch Street. And if you recall, um, on this property, you used to have the Eagleston uh, Youth Home. Uh, it's now vacant. Uh, this consists of three parcels in the R3 zone. And the developer is looking to uh, consolidate these three parcels and subdivide it into 24 for sale units uh, and one common lot that will be held under a homeowners association. And uh, here uh, I've identified the units in the red with the yard areas and landscaping, the green area in the green. And you also see over on the uh, right side there, oops, where's the pointer here? Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> The owner proposes uh, a picnicking area here and a uh, sports area here for the community. Uh, you also have the parking along this area. The development standards, we provided a table for you, shows that it is in compliance with those standards with the exception of two items which uh, the applicant is asking for a concession on. One of them is building height. The maximum building height in this area is 35 feet. The applicant, based on the models that he's proposing, is at 36 feet 4 inches. So it's a, a foot and 4 inches higher, which to the naked eye would not be very noticeable in the area. Uh, the other thing is the private open space area. Now, even though the applicant is providing open space for all of the units in these green areas, the code does not allow the open space within the front yard area to be considered private open space. But again, it is usable open space, so they do have the, uh, the open space uh, for the unit. So those two concessions are being requested uh, in exchange for one moderate income unit. 
and that is within the uh, density bonus provisions of state law and the city's uh, own code. This project is exempt from the California Environmental Quality Act based on uh, infill exemptions, which indicate that the as long as the project is consistent with the general plan, which it is, this is an R3 uh, general plan designation, and also the proposed development occurs within city limits on a project of no more than five acres, which is the case here, and also the project has no value for habitat uh, for endangered or rare species, which again, this was previously developed. You had uh, four single family homes in this area and the uh, Eagleston Youth Center, which is a multifamily use. Uh, appro approval of the project would not result in significant effects on traffic noise, air quality, and water quality. Uh, we've looked at this uh, and assessed it through our various city departments, including engineering and public works. We've identified that the increase in traffic would be minimal, as well as the noise in this area. It's a compatible residential use. And with regards to air quality, uh, again, there are mitigation through standard conditions of approval that are applied to any development project. Here's what you see as the existing site. You've got um, this parcel here with a single family home, and then you have another parcel here that has existing paved parking, a vacant area here, and uh, a basketball court in the, the back, which at some point staff can only assume that that was used by the Eagleson uh, boys' home here. Yes. Was it? Okay. And here was the uh, Eagleston Youth Center, which you still see a sign up here. Uh, and again, all of these properties have been boarded up and they're currently vacant. You got security fencing all around. And staff has looked at this and this would be a significant improvement from what I've seen uh, from what's existing. You've got existing apartment buildings to the uh, west and uh, single family homes to the uh, east and also to the north. These are the elevations that are proposed by Baldwin Park Homes. Very similar to other projects they've had throughout the city. Here you see the front elevation and the side elevation with uh, different color schemes throughout and also some decorative uh, veneer. In this case, I believe the applicant proposes either um, a brick or a stacked stone veneer. Here's the rear elevation showing the uh, separate garage spaces. And all of these units will have a two-car garage And here's the elevation, again showing the uh, various uh, distinction and color elements so that each unit appears as an individual uh, home. And it is a three-story product. Here you have the first floor with the garage, and uh, this could be either a bedroom or could be considered a den. As you're going upstairs, you go into the second floor plan. This is where you have your kitchen and uh, your family room or living room. And you also have another uh, separate bathroom. And then on your third floor is where you have your, uh, your bedrooms. And uh, these are proposed three and four bedroom models. So that concludes our staff report. If you have any questions on this project, we're here to answer them. Thank you. Oh, I would like to add we provided you with a memorandum. Uh, the Public Works Department had a discussion with the applicant uh, earlier this week on three conditions of approval, and so they've been modified, and we provided that for you. Okay. Thank you. Now, I believe we're supposed to, yeah. Any questions by the commissioners? Uh, one of the questions I have is the uh, uh, square footage uh, that was listed on the actual um, floor plan is different from the one that we're seeing on the screen. Which one's the correct one? The square footage is 1752 to 2064. An example that I'm seeing here, like... Um, uh, Post right. lot number two and three uh, look like there's 854 square feet. That may not include the garage. Okay. 
So the garage, um, each two-car garage is approximately about 400 square feet, correct, Craig? It could also be the, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so up here is a 1789 square feet. And Craig, could you state your name for the record? Yeah, sure. Is it? Thank you. I don't think it's. Okay, that makes sense now. Thank you. Thank you, Craig. Thank you, Craig. I, I hope um, this isn't a dumb question. Um, so I, I think that if you're um, likely disabled, you're not looking to buy a three-story home. But um, does, does um, city code or state law require to make any of these homes mildly um, accessible it does not no for sale. yes these are for sale units how many um, guest parking do you have is it 12 14 total spaces Okay, well, thank you for the extra parking. It's a lot more than some of the other projects we've seen. That'd be awesome. Good. Um, so I guess behind lots 19 through 24, that extra green space, that's, is that, it's not like community, like green space, is it? It's green space for the project, it's a gated community. That's a more typical green space, landscape, grassy area. Yeah. 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 
Yeah. It looks like a beautiful project. Yeah. The back is viewing aesthetics, right? For well, more for looking. <laughs> They will. <laughs> I have a question. Um, so you only have one affordable? Correct. Typically when we try to do affordable housing, we're allowed to do 10. But here we're doing actually one less than we're allowed to do 25. We just it's really hard to access that triangle piece of the fire department limits of how long they'll go. So we're not getting a density bonus. Chair, um, you should open up the public hearing if you're going to continue this dialogue. I open up the public hearing. <laughs> Anyone wishing to speak? Three minutes is the time limit, and please state your name and address. There's only one other person in here, so. <laughs> so nothing but good things to say then, huh? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, um, before you, <laughs> which is the affordable housing, just pointing at it. I, I think you did identify it, but. Yeah. Unit, unit five, it's uh, up front. It's up front. Okay. And you can't distinguish it from the others. It's yeah. Okay. Do you know the cost of the association fees? I do not know the association fees. Our last association was about 150. As you get a greater number of units, I would assume it's not. Okay. Any more questions? All right. Thank you. No more questions. Um, so open session is closed. Public hearing, public hearing is closed. <laughs> um, do we got a motion to approve? A motion to approve. Will the uh, commissioner accept the um, amendment that was placed on on in your motion? So it would be a. Um, to approve the resolution as amended from the memorandum from the memorandum yes it's okay uh, too late to ask staff question go ahead no no go ahead um so i am assuming that um notice was sent out to neighbors but i'm guessing nobody's here so nobody has anything to say that's correct sir yeah it was sent out to the normal radius right your end of feet radius right yes yeah they each get a personal letter All right, I believe we have a motion, and is there a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Seeing none, it's five to zero. Okay. Resolution 17-16 as amended. Thank you very much. Now, I believe we go to Amy for update um i don't have any listed items under reports of officers or commission staff communications so your next item would be 
unless any commissioners have items they'd like to ask the adjournment. Any commissioner comments? Seems none. We're closed. Mo oh, motion for adjournment. Sorry. A motion to adjourn. I'll second it. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Adjournment five to zero. <laughs> Um, I have an appointment at nine, so I can do it before that. Is that the, it's not a screw top? Oh, that is neat condition. How do you open it? Um, I'm condition, an example of the D2. I'm looking at it correctly. I'm looking at this section here. I don't remember getting that. Uh, improvement requirements. Right. Number two, Oof. read improvements. But it, does it specific to yeah. any of these? or Is it a wake-up entire bar? bracket? Good night. Bye, guys. Is it a wake-up bar? Yeah? yeah. Have a good night. Because um, normally I try and go to the wake-up Baldwin parks. So what will be the revision then? How can I find out what the revisions were? Or what With exactly that, were? Um, can I ask any? Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow, new type of bottle, huh? Yeah, nice. Check that out. We're getting high tech with these bottles now. <laughs> Wonder who manufactures these tops, you know. <laughs> but it's trying to get all up in my nose. <laughs> yeah, there is a downside. <laughs> oh, that's nice. I like that.